A nine-man panel saddled with responsibilities to investigate reports of alleged police brutality and restitution for victims of SARS held its sittings for a little over a year and the outcome is this 309-page document presented to the governor. After for emphasis, you know, we're seeing this for the first time. The Lagos State Imagine. Governor is now looking forward to a four-man panel report that will produce a white paper expected to be ready about six days from now. Lawyers and civil society groups have asked the government to ensure full implementation when the white paper is ready. President Mohamed Buhari on his part, through his social advisor and media, is waiting to see how the various states deal with their findings before the federal government's intervention. But that intervention seems to have come with the Minister of Information rejecting the NSAS report of Lagos, calling it the worst ever produced by a judicial panel of inquiry in Nigeria. According to him, the report is riddled with many errors. Without missing words, let me say right to me that never in the history of any judicial panel in this country has his report been riddled with so many errors inconsistencies, discrepancies, speculations, innuendos, omissions, and conclusions that are not supported by evidence. What is currently circulating in public space is simply a hash of the unverified fake news that has been played on social media since the incident of October 20th, 2020. The minister also explains that he heard in some quarters people calling for his resignation, but that he will not do so, maintaining that there was no massacre in Leki Tollgate in Lagos. There is absolutely nothing in the report that is circulating to make us change our stand that there was no massacre at the Lekki Toll Gate on October 20th, 2020. For us to change our stand, I well investigated the report of the incident that means all required standards and we withstand every scrutiny that must be produced and presented to the public. The minister then takes time to highlight what he calls errors on the report. How can a judicial panel convince anyone that the names of some casualties of the Lekki Toll Gate at the incident listed as numbers 3, GD, 42, Tola, and 43, Wisdom, are not the fictitious names? They have no sole names, and yet they are confirmed. Dead. It is simply incredible that the judicial panel set up to investigate an incident has submitted a report laden with allegations. The same allegations it was set up to investigate in the first instance. Instead of sitting for all of one year, the panel could have just compiled social media tales by the moonlight on the incident and submitted, saving taxpayers' funds and everyone's time. From all indications, this may not be the last comment on the NSAS panel report. As a matter of fact, the minister's response is likely to open another floodgate of debate on the leaked report. And this, of course, raises more anxiety among Nigerians and the international community on the real report and how the authorities will eventually deal with the recommendations therein.